Welcome to the Arabesque Sewing Studio. Today I thought I'd run through really quickly a little video on how to read a pattern. Now when you open a pattern for the first time, anyone's pattern, you're receiving a large amount of information all in one go and it can really seem like a lot. So I thought I'd share a few tips with you on things that have helped me get started and just have the confidence to be able to sew a pattern when sometimes at the beginning I feel a bit overwhelmed by all the information that I'll find when I first open it up. So the very first thing that every pattern writer will tell you is to read right through the pattern before beginning. And I know that sometimes we are very excited when we first open a pattern and we just want to jump in with both feet. But I know what happens with me is I make assumptions and that usually means that I make mistakes and then I waste my fabric because I don't actually understand the way the pattern writer has structured everything. So this is really important and I would read through the pattern at least once. And if this information is still a lot for you, then I recommend just putting the pattern aside and going and doing something else and just letting that information sit with you for a while. And something magical happens when you do that. Your subconscious brain will be putting that information into categories so that when you come back to it the next time, you will find that it's not so overwhelming. You will understand it better and sometimes a lot of it will actually click. Now, the second time that you read through a pattern, I recommend that you mark it up. So this is where I add all my own notes. This is where I would jot down little um, notes for myself. If I don't understand something, I will circle words. I will add little extra bits on things that I might like to add in and things I might like to change. And this is where you really do get to make this your own. And I do recommend that you mark up your patterns as much as you want, because it really will help you with your understanding and help you with your confidence when you come back to sew through it again later on. So now I'd like to run through what you can expect when you open an arabesque pattern. So on the front cover, you'll see a really large picture of the project, and then you'll see an infographic underneath. And this has really useful information in it because it tells you what the project actually is so that you're not confused by the name that I've given up. It tells you the finished project sizes and it also tells you a pattern rating out of five spools. And this just helps you with what to expect. So whether you're a beginner sewist or a more advanced sewist, you'll be able to just understand what's likely to be involved inside. Now, the next thing that you'll find in my patterns is a little story and introduction from me. And this is just to help you understand uh, the why of why I've written this and the purpose of what it's for. Because all of my patterns are not just designed to be pretty things that sit on the shelf. They are designed with a particular purpose to help you grow in your organisation, your productivity and your creativity. Then on the next page, you'll see a detailed drawing of the pattern, which might be 2D or 3D, depending on what it is. And this is where I have labelled all the pieces in the pattern so that you can see where they are on the project and you're not left wondering what piece goes where in your brain. This is just a really great visual cue so that you can see what part goes where. And then I've taken all those pieces and laid them out in all their layers you know, the interfacing, all the pieces, whether they're on the inside or the outside, these are all laid out in what we call an exploded view so that you can see exactly how many pieces of each part you're going to need to cut and what they all are and how they reference that 2D or 3D model. You'll find a full supplies list with all the fabrics laid out, the interfacings, all the notions and the little bits I call them and also all the little helpful tools that you'll need just in extra to the basic sewing supplies that you will probably already have. So then I give you a complete cutting chart. So this is a step-by-step -step list of all the pieces that you've already seen earlier in the pattern. So some of these are exact sizes that you need to cut. And then there are some special ones that are marked with a T, which have a core template attached to them. 
So these are pieces that you can't actually cut just by uh, measuring with a ruler because they are an irregular shape or sometimes a very strange shape, depending on uh, what the purpose is. And so those will need to be traced and cut out from a template at the end of the pattern. And every arabesque pattern now comes with a video tutorial. So you can just click the link in the PDF pattern and that will take you straight to the video tutorial so that you can watch me make this step by step in real time. And this is just a great way of overcoming that information overload because there's nothing like watching somebody make it in real time that a static or text document just can't show you. So even if you have English as a second language, this can be a great way of helping you achieve the confidence you need to make the pattern. Now, when you come to the pattern instructions, you'll find in the written document that each step-by-step -step instruction builds upon the one before. There are clear diagrams and graphics. And for the first time, we've included a checklist that you can tick off as you come to the end of each step to make sure that you don't miss anything. And at the very end of the pattern, you'll find core templates that you need to trace for those bits in the cutting chart that you can't cut out. And if you're someone who doesn't like cutting everything from a cutting chart, for the first time, we're including a second file so that you can cut everything out from trace templates if that's what you would prefer. So in summary, I'd just like to encourage you that pattern reading is a skill that can be learned and you can do it as well. So I do encourage you to put that work in and then have the confidence to be able to sew a pattern. And once you've done that, even though it was difficult, the feeling you get when you've sewn that pattern and been happy with the outcome is something that you just can't replace.